a new sports field is being created here. Soon, students at this primary school will be able to play rugby on it. But first, grass has to be grown on the field with the help of special climate-friendly compost. Eddie Redlinghouse is the man behind the compost. Here he's explaining the finer points of healthy soil to his daughter. His family has been in farming for over a hundred years. Healthy soil, you can stick your fingers in it easily. It's loose, it's got air in it. It's a happy soil. I started composting because I changed my farming from conventional to organic. Um, and uh, to change to organic, I needed to find a good compost. So I, I looked right through the Cape Town region and we couldn't find any good compost. But to make his own compost, he had to find something to make it out of. In this case, the answer lay in Cape Town. Tourism is the biggest source of income for sunny Cape Town. Since the Second World Cup, Cape Town has been polishing its image as a green city. Greenpoint Park, the site of the city's World Cup stadium, is a green oasis. It's been a few years now since the city disposed of the park's garden waste in dumps. Instead, it goes to the compost maker. It's a win-win situation, both financially and ecologically. This enabled us to save land, landfill space, which, as you know, is very expensive. Um, and we also don't have space for landfills in South Africa. Um, we do have space, but far away, and it would create um, a, a lot of driving and obviously add to the...